From glory to glory, as the theme of Island Church's second anniversary is true of the church and its members, we have never had a better yesterday on this journey to the promised land. Like the children of Israel's journey through the wilderness, God's air conditioning system is over us such that when it's hot out there, we are cool under His cloud, and when it's cold, we enjoy the warmth of His fire. Our glory does not go down because our path shines brighter and brighter. Alan Church was bettered in the midst of affliction of COVID-19 and that was in July 2020. Before then, we've been, you know, trusting God, praying and suddenly COVID happened and um, what we did, COVID didn't stop us. So it was a church birth in the thick midst of COVID. But what happened? God changed us, transformed us. We changed location. We moved to a new location in the midst of COVID. And even in reception, we are adding numbers. God is increasing us. So we want to really appreciate God for what God has done. People registered their presence in our services. And within three months of following God's instruction, Related by the senior pastor, Joseph Aborowa, the grace of God begins to manifest in their lives in various forms. If you attend any of our services, you will see testimonies that members are giving. And I'm not talking about old members that we started together, new members that join us less than a year, join us from our first anniversary, after our first anniversary, even people that are joining us for special programs, immediately in that program they are getting blessed. We cannot but thank God for what God is doing. From this church's first anniversary until now, our people can testify that the glory of the Lord has risen upon their life, family, business and career. Through our heavenly inspired covenant days and services, we arise in the spirit to shine in the physical. My experience so far in Island Church has been amazing and it's been from glory to glory. It's been a wonderful experience in this house. And one of the few things that God has done for me in Island Church, one, it has actually increased my prayer life. I can tell you for free that my prayer life has gone from five to hundred. It's, it's, been, it's been amazing. A lot of people seeing my life, seeing how my life has transcended from what it used to be to what it is now. To say, I want to join your God, I want to serve your God. And you know, it has actually made my family, uh, my sister and the family and the children to join Island Church. Another amazing thing that has happened to me in Island Church are the prophecies Pastor Joseph prophesied on the altar. It's been wonderful because it said prophecies are not to be watched but to, to be word. You know, I run with each of the prophecies and one of the prophecies that find fulfillment and expression, particularly in my life, is when it said that your business will go global, your business is going to Ha, is going to increase in 12 digits. I can tell you for free, at the beginning of this year, uh, you know when we're setting target, it looks like, oh, the target was huge and it was high. But at six months, at the month of June, I've already almost surpassed the target we set for the year. That is one of the prophecies that manifested in my life. My wife um, got reached out to through um, a colleague of her. The message was about Island Church. I remember that day was through Instagram. Then um, I just told her, you know what? I don't believe in coincidence. Let's attend this church this coming Sunday. We checked on I, we checked on IG and we you know we just went through the page. We saw the church. We saw the one or two activities in the church and we just fell in love with it. And we saw it as um, a answered prayer. We came on Sunday, and lo and behold, it was it was an amazing time in God's presence. We fell in love with the church immediately. Sincerely, I can, I, can, I can boast of it that Island Church has been the best church ever I have attended. Sincerely, it's been from glory to glory in my family, in my business. Now, why won't Islanders reflect the fullness of God, which is majestic, when the spiritual meal available each time we gather before the Lord is balanced? God has made Island Church a one-stop spiritual supermarket that cannot be circumscribed to a single spiritual gift. 
The gospel according to Island Church's balanced diet is for this reason that our people are fresh. We prevail in the place of prayers, war administration, the prophetic, profess what the Lord has said concerning us and engage in evangelism which makes us all-round Christians. So winning uh, is not just a church strategy to grow the church, it's a mandate. Every believer has been mandated to go out there and win souls. The Bible says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So we have this mandate to go out there and preach to every creature. As Christians, we have the ministry of reconciliation. We have been told to reconcile the world back to God. So it, this is not just a church mandate, but an heavenly mandate. We are mandated to do it. So it doesn't matter your status. You may be high class, professional, an artisan. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're a believer, we have a mandate to go into all the world and preach the gospel. And Island Church is passionate about this. You can't be in Island Church and not hear us in one month talk about soul winning because we are mandated to win soul. In its two years of existence, Island Church has led members to be mindful of their souls. This is why we go all out in the service of the Lord. Our commitment to kingdom priorities can be seen in the way we go about the Lord's business with diligence. After graduating from the very intensive Workers in Training program, those enlisted into the church's workforce do with all their might whatever their hands finds to do in the house of the Lord through the instrumentality of the 22 departments and units of the ministry. Has is a church of like the priest, like people. As of today, we've got 328 people in our workforce, highly professional guys, solid guys, and you don't even know. You see them on the street winning so you see them early in the morning in the church serving God. I like to thank our CEC members. Oh, what a sacrifice from these uh, guys. Our CEC members are high class professionals. Uh, the five of them with a cumulative experience of over a hundred years, sacrificing to this vision is unparalleled. Our brethren in leading countries of the world have been exuding the island glory with exhilarating testimonies of them winning awards, graduating as international students with honors, buying properties in major cities as prophesied and fearing extremely well in their career and endeavors. Their spectacular stories confirm to us that the mandate to raise global leaders empowered and sustained by the grace of God is real. The anointing to shine early is at work in Island Church. This anointing is manifesting mightily in the church's children's church, as experienced during the children's week and their brilliant presentation and performance to the congregation. The learning they receive from our Sunday school sharpens their academics and enables them to win competitions and clinch awards. The way they are going, the glory of the latter house will be greater than the former. This glory we are talking about also got exported to Onoyade Primary School in Fadei, Lagos, after one of their houses was named after Island Church. This was in response to the church's charitable contribution to the school. By this glorious association, the Island Church House won the overall best prize in the school's inter-house sports competition held in the school compound on February 10, 2022. Since the teen's ministry started a year ago, its meetings include worship experience, discussions on career, academics, sexuality, and vocations. These teenage islanders embark on evangelism and organize UTMB classes for those seeking admission to further their education. This has brought about testimonies of members securing university admission with ease, even 
as others got the opportunity of traveling abroad for studies. Yes, our teens are not left out of the island charts global grace. The covenant with God as a member of this community. There is a conscious effort to see to it that no one is left behind in this match to glory. Hence, there is the translation department that caters to the spiritual needs of those in the catchment area of the church. The church provides a free bus shuttle to those senior citizens and others and translates the ministration of the word in the language they understand. The translation unit also recommends medical checkups for the members who need such and collaborates with the medical team of the church for treatment of their ailments where necessary. As we celebrate the second anniversary of Island Church, we give God all the glory for the testimonies and for the greater things that He will do. The last two years has been tremendous and supernatural. Only the hand of God could achieve this. We return all the glory to Him. I pray that in this new year, we will move from glory to glory, Amen. from grace to grace. Amen. Supernatural increase will be our portion Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. We all with open face, we behold as in a glass the glory of the Lord. And we are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Even by the Spirit of the Lord, by the enablement of the Spirit, this new year, you will move from glory to glory. Amen. From fame to fame. Amen. Honor to honor. Amen. This new year will bring you favor. Amen. Grace. Amen. Strange favor Amen. like you've never experienced before. Amen. Prosperity and increase Amen. for every member of this commission Amen. and everyone connected to this grace yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I bless you with the blessing of a priest. Amen. I bless you with prosperity. Prosperity. I bless you with increase, Amen. joy, and celebration. Amen. You will move from glory Amen. to glory Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Happy New Year to Highland Church. Happy New Year.